Okay, I'm going to give you an objection that salesmen receive a lot of. And it's something that I see a lot of um, salesmen and a lot of detailers, business owners get tripped up on. There's many ways to handle this objection, but you, you've got to remember that you always want to advance the sale forward. That's something that I got from um, Andy Elliott. He was a massive, massive salesman and he runs the Elliott Club. Massive fan of his, but he has a key point that he keeps on hammering home with his sales tactics, which is you always want to advance the sale in the right direction. If it's not going in the right direction, then you've got to recourse it back into the right direction. So the objection is, I need to think about it. How many times have you heard about that? Oh, um, I need to think about your service. I need to look elsewhere for your service. You know, I need to compare it to market rates. But what I want to hammer home is I need to think about it. That's an objection that they want to get a lot. And I'm going to tell you how to solve it right, right now. So let me give an example or a demonstration of this scenario. So someone comes up to you and goes, look, oh, this is the business owner uh, talking to the customer. And you say, well, guys, you know, this has a you know 100% satisfaction. Everyone's been absolutely amazed with it. We've got some photos of the results. Do you want to go ahead and let's get the service done? And they go, oh, yeah, no, it sounds really good, but I need to think about it. There you go. Normally what people say is um, straight off the bat, well, what is it that you essentially need to think about? And the issue with this, I'm just going to show you here, is that it's got no combativeness. It basically shoves them into a corner. Um, they get a bit self-defensive. They don't know what to say. And the problem is from that point on, they actually just go start to make lies. So they literally go, oh, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say to this guy. Yeah, well, normally we just make uh, we never make first time buys. We normally do that. But of course, they've made first time buys before. But now they're lying to you and they create this whole dilemma in their mind that they need to keep reserved and that they need to keep into this scenario where they're never going to buy from you. You're essentially neglecting all the work that you've previously done, because what you want to do with the customer is break down those walls and have a, go a good, honest conversation. By asking a question like that, you're bringing those walls back up. And you might be thinking, well, I've been with them for an hour and a half. I've looked around their cars. I've given them an exact detail of what they need to do, what their car needs servicing wise. Um, so I have been all my right the, you know, to ask them that question. But it's a bit of an invasion of space. And all of a sudden, you back them into the corner and they're going to start lying their way out of it. And then they're never going to buy because they feel that they've been trapped inside the box. And then guess what happens? So then you're in this little box where... Your sale is there and you're just going to keep on driving the price down and down and down until it reaches this level, which where they're going to buy. So that just ruins your service because it ruins the value of your service. Not only that, but it ruins your profit margins as well. You're going to either do that or you're going to listen to the simple trick and show you how it's actually done. So what I want you to do is actually just slow down, just slow down, calm the conversation and get you to do something which is... Always agree. Always agree with the customer. And I'll just give you a quick example of that. So when they go, oh, well, the price is too high for me or the price is something I need to think about. And you just go, yeah, I totally agree. That's, you know, price is something that I always think about when I'm looking into purchasing something. Do you see what I did? Do you see what I did there? I literally took them and said exactly what they I agreed with exactly what they were saying. And I'm holding a relationship with the person I'm talking to. So let's look at the flip side of it. So what if, what if, you know, they said the price is too high and I said, well, why do you think the price is too high? Or why, 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 why is it too high for you? Then immediately the walls come up and they immediately become self-defensive and they get entrapped in that little box there. So you just want to stop the most combativeness. I look, I know I'm pulling this up and down, um, but you want to stop the combativeness. So you want to stop the bashing. You want to stop those walls from coming out at any opportunity. You can't fuck it up you cannot get those walls back up. So you need to lower them and bring them into a very, very comfortable space and build a relationship with them. And then when they say, well, I need to think about it. And you say, of course you need to think about it. I need to think about something like that as well uh, when it comes to making big decisions. And you see what I did there. I'm, I'm advancing the sale in the right direction. I'm getting it closer towards a sale. I'm getting them comfortable with that. And you can see the actual objections that really come out and come true when they're actually wanting, you know, the sale. So this is exactly what you say. All right. Now save this, to, you know, screen record it because this is exactly what you say. So I need to think about it. Well, of course you need to think about it, Mr. Customer. I totally understand that. And I haven't given you, your, you and your wife enough information not to think about it. But what I have learned is this, is that we go inside and have a five minute proposal and I can show you guys exactly, show you exactly what you were getting for your money, show you the value, show you what customers have been previously saying. 
and what the payments will be and how great a price that we can come up with. When we bring in our customers, 90% of them want to pass go and want to, want to purchase the service. But in the end, it is your decision. And it's completely up to you and it's totally your decision on what you decide to do. Even if five minutes, even if you don't purchase the service, it will give you some idea of what the service entails, how it would affect you, how it would really help your car and help your longevity and your selling value later down the line. You want to list off all the pros here. And at least, Mr. Customer, it would give you something to think about. Wouldn't you agree? So I just normally say that, you know, would you like to leave the store? Would you like to leave the detailing bay with all the numbers, all the idea, all the service, you know, all the customer reviews, all the sort of <laughs> testimonials, all those kind of things, all the numbers, all the things that don't lie um, and prove an absolute, you know, uh, they sing for your business. But you know this, that if you can't even take them up, up to the five minute proposal, if you can't even take them up to, you know, understand the knowledge of the rest of the customers, what the rest of the market's doing, a proposal sheet is essentially what I'm saying, then you know that you can't close the sale. You know that the sale's already gone. So there you can pull yourself back and just say, thank you, Mr. Customer, have a great day. So we go back to the same where you want to advance the sell forward and you just say to them, you know, of course, I, I wouldn't have given you, you know, I need to think about it. Of course, you need to think about it, Mr. Customer. I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. But then you want to get them in to a five minute proposal or breakdown of the service. You know what you can actually provide, what your service entails. Um, what's it compared like to the competitive rates? What great deal are you giving off? You know, you want to really hammer home all these kind of things. And hopefully, you know, their numbers and their statements that you can't say no to. So that's what you have to do. That's the next challenge is creating those numbers and creating those proposal sheets that are ridiculously good and show the numbers off and the business off in the best light. And then you say something at the end of the line, like, you know, we're in this service to better people's lives. So we're not in the service to worsen their cars in any way. Look, I'm going to give you a deal that you can't say no to. But in the end of the day it is your decision if you know in five minutes you don't want to get continue to get the service or you know you're still undecided then at least you've got the numbers and the best deal to go off and think about it with does that sound fair mr prospect and then you talk to them and you advance the sale in the right direction that's all you need to do is advance the sale in the right direction and that's exactly how to deal with the most common objection that salesmen business owners car detailers always get faced with so make sure you want to advance the sale forward and you want to close that deal. Let's see some other detailers getting some sales. So that's all for today. That's all the points I want to cover. You know, go check out the link if you want to know how we help detailers pass the point of these videos. But for all that, hope you liked the video and go press the like button if you did. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next one.